Hi, my name is Rich Harrington for Creative Cow, and today I'm going to show you a helper application that's included with Adobe Creative Suite that's designed for mobile. Now you might be thinking, I don't care about mobile. Well, you should. Last year, more money was made on mobile phones just delivering text messages and SMS messages than all of Hollywood put together. In the future, getting content to mobile devices is going to be increasingly important. So if you're a motion graphics designer or a filmmaker or a content creator, a publisher, you're going to want to know how to get content to a wide range of devices. Even today, you might just want to know what settings you need to go ahead and deliver that video so the producer or the client can review it on their Blackberry, their iPhone, their iPad. It kind of gets confusing pretty quick, which is where Device Central comes into play. When you launch Adobe Device Central, which comes with Creative Suite, you'll see it gives you the choice of what do you want to do. You've got the ability to go ahead and create an After Effects composition or a Photoshop file, or just start by browsing devices. Now when you do this, there's a wide range of devices that you could choose from. And you'll see that you've got mobile video devices, you've got web devices, and you can quickly go in. You'll find them all in there, searchable. You could search by a particular manufacturer. You know, for example, if we wanted to know how to make something for the BlackBerry Bold, I can go ahead and take a look at that. And we could actually see all of the specs. For example, you know, what is the actual screen dimensions? How about for video? Oh, it's 480 by 320. And it needs to be 3GPP or MPEG-4. Well, the cool thing here is that you don't have to memorize these settings. It's going to make it much easier for you to create new compositions. So under the Create tab here, you see that we can go ahead and actually choose what we want. So I could say I want to make a new Photoshop document for that device. And it's going to be standalone. Or I want to make a new After Effects composition and create a master comp. So that works really well. We've got that selected. And all we have to do is select the device over here, and we can then say Create. And what it's going to do is kick you over to After Effects and set up a comp exactly sized for that particular phone. There it is, Device Central Comp, BlackBerry Storm. Here's my Device Master. So I can open up that document there, find my video file that I want to place in. Maybe it's a finished spot. And I could just grab that, there we go, and drop it in. Now you might need to change the composition duration or anything else to that matter, but you could then scale that to what you need. And in this particular case, you see that we're having to make a decision to actually lose some of the content. So the choice here is yours. Do you want to do a center cut and fill up the entire mobile screen? or are you willing to give up something and go to letterbox or pillar box? So I can go ahead and scale that down if I wanted. There we go. And it gets pretty fine. Or split the difference and sort of go with center cut and adjust the pan and scan on a shot by shot basis. That looks pretty good there. What people often do is actually cut their sequence in Premiere and then copy and paste every single shot into the After Effects comp and go through and literally adjust the anchor point and do pan and scan compensation to reframe each shot for the mobile device. It may sound like a lot of work, but if you're being hired to do some big name stuff, you're going to want it to look good on that actual screen. Same holds true for an iPad. If you want to fill the whole screen up, you're going to have to do some panning and scanning since that's a 4x3 device and most of your video these days is going to be 16 by 9. So there's the master comp that's been updated. If I go to the BlackBerry Storm comp, you see there it is. It's got that device master placed in. If I jump back over to Device Central and I say, you know what, I want to also do this for another thing. I can come on in there and I could say, well, you know, let's find another device. We'll go back to Browse. And I want to go to my device library. We'll go to the home here and I'll search for iPad. There we go. Tells me the correct size. You see some of these are uploaded by individuals. Others are done by Adobe themselves. So you've got some choices there. We'll actually go with an iPhone and we'll do a four. There it is. 
I could select it. If that's the one I want, I can go ahead to create. I've got it here. I could drag it over to my test devices and it's added. Select it, go back to create. And I could say, you know what? Go ahead and create an After Effects comp. I want After Effects. There's my device. So let's go back to browse here. We'll go to home and we'll pick another device from Adobe. Let's say we needed to go to an HTC droid. I could add that to my library there. Comes on in. Select it. Go back to create. And I could say I want to create another comp here for video. There we go. Switches back in. There it is in After Effects. It's got its own device master comp. Drag in the video file. Adjust its scale. Switch on back. And there you have it. So, works very, very well. If you don't want to have to guess, it'll actually tell you the sizes that you want. It even sets up the frame rate. And the cool thing is, is if you head on over to your render queue there and you drop it in, you'll actually see that it's going to go ahead and set things up for the correct size. Now what I recommend is you go a step further and you just double check those settings that it's going to create out. Usually you then spit this out to Adobe Media Encoder where you could do those advanced compressions to the other file formats. But this is a great way to get the size designed correctly. You'll also see when you start to choose your different devices that you can choose emulation and you can simulate and load video in and see what it looks like on the screen or you can even create Photoshop files or other web files if you're trying to do splash screens or animated flash content. So I just want you to be aware of this great tool from Adobe called Device Central. It's a really useful way to quickly browse lots of different devices, handsets, portable media players, different sorts of gadgets, and then actually set up After Effects comps so they're the right frame size, dimensions, frame rate, all those things put together, and then you could spit it out to the correct file type using Adobe Media Encoder. For Creative Cow, my name is Rich Harrington. I invite you to head on over to creativecow.net where there's tons more tutorials, both video and text, and the very useful Creative Cow magazine. Thanks again.